Okay, thanks a lot, Vicki. Well, it is time to whip something together because you know it's the season to have dips, chicken wings, all those really neat things. So, cookbook author Kendra Stevens is here with an easy to uh, make, mm -hmm. hard to forget, that's how we're saying this, but it's a great dip that we can serve and everybody can enjoy. Great in ingredients as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to make a fantastic four feta dip. It's quite a mm. lot of F's, hard to say, but okay. the reason we call it the fantastic four dip is because okay. we have four different dip bases. We have sour cream, cottage cheese, feta cheese, and cream cheese, and they're all going to go into okay. the blender here, and we're going to whip them up. Which one first? Um, we'll just start with the cream cheese, which is the closest. Okay. Um, once these all get in. Here's your feta. Thank you. All right. Put them all in. We'll add a little splash of milk just to get it blending. All right. Um, the reason I love this dip is because there are so many dip bases. If you don't care for sure. cream cheese or sour cream, you can always substitute mayonnaise or a little mm -hmm. extra or one or the other. And there's so many um, flavored cream cheeses now, flavored uh -huh. feta cheeses that it's, okay. you can make it your own flavor. And they make such great little blenders mm -hmm. now that you can just you know, put on the counter, whip it up, exactly. don't have to use the food processor, don't exactly. have to use any of that big stuff. We're going to mm -hmm. just check the consistency here, pour okay. a little milk in, All right. and then if I could get you to just sure. cut one of those in half, this is the last jalapenos of my garden. Oh, oh you're <laughs> homegrown out of your own garden? Yes. Okay. Put a little salt in. Okay. Just go ahead and throw one, okay, maybe half One. In there. Look what yeah. I feel like I'm a chef. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then one of the dill sprigs, and we'll go ahead. One of the dill sprigs. And these look so yes. fresh and delicious. And again, if you don't okay. like a dill, um, you can always use basil, chives, mm -hmm. any fresh herbs. Love fresh herbs. Okay. Now the consistency is much mm -hmm. better with that milk in there. Yep. I see my favorite over there, the Himalayan pink crystal salt. Yes. Mm. Um, we just did a a little so pinch of that, uh, the feta mm -hmm. and the cottage cheese are both pretty salty, so you okay. don't need a whole lot of salt. It's nice to just have it on the side. All right. Um, so and I love how, how the dill looks. It just looks so inviting. Very nice. Very pretty. Nice presentation. Yes, and you Alrighty. can always put a fresh little dill sprig right on top. Okay. So I get to garnish it? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to use a small dill sprig. Get this into Very the creamy and nice. Yes. Mm. Oh gosh. You can serve. And you guys can't yep. smell it at home. I tell you, this smells so good. Oh look, there's my contribution there. And it's best served with all um, your favorites. Yes, veggies, even mm -hmm. chips, oh, pretzels, great. crackers. This is very Fantastic. universal. Yeah, and it really stands up well when you stick your nice celery stick in there and ah, oh, delish. So if you want the recipe, head to kwgn.com right now and get it and start practicing on this stuff before game time rolls back around. Tom, what do you think? Ah, it smells good. great. Can't wait. Mm. Thanks very much. All right, here's